Well guys, welcome back to the Mouse Diva channel. I am so behind. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all around the world. Oh, every city, every place. another bookish video today and you guys that have been with me for a while know that months ago a new book subscription box uh, started and it's books inside boxes and I have been getting this since day one and I cannot remember which month it started maybe August can't remember well November and December are extremely busy months for me. I work many, many hours and I got behind on opening these. So I'm doing three months at a time. I'm doing November, December, and January. Always get these the first week of the month like clockwork because she mails them out the last few days of the month. Let me describe just a little thing behind the concept of this book box and it is every month will be themed to a different state and it's a mystery you don't know what state that the book that you receive takes place in and it also each box is representative to a independent bookstore from that state and you get some type of goodie from that bookstore whether it be a, a maybe a canvas bag or a sticker or something that came from the bookshop normally so it's a great concept let's support independent bookstores and like read a book that takes place in that state so we're gonna start with November and I love the little letters that oh, there's something in there the little letters that come with because she I'm looking for my readers I'm sorry it's probably very distracting she sometimes gives you a little some history of the state let's see happy holidays Oh, this is December. Oops, wrong box. This, I know the big box is January, so this must be November. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Ooh, so, I mean, really nice long letters. Vibrant fish markets, the rich aroma of coffee, and, and an intense landscape dotted with volcanoes. For November, we head to the PNW for Washington State. Our featured novel is The School of Essential Ingredients. The School of Essential Ingredients. Um, I need to get the book out. Oh, no way! I've actually read this book. What are the darn chances? So, the books that you receive are not necessarily new books. Um, wow. Okay. Well, that's weird. I was not expecting to get a book that I have already read. So, I, this book came out in 2009, and I looked it up. I read it in 2015. So this is fine because obviously new book hasn't been read. So I will be giving this as a gift. Now let's get back to the letter. Um, so a group of strangers gather for a monthly cooking class in a Seattle restaurant, improving their cooking skills and forming deep relationships. A book about love, loss, friendship, and food that takes us through the seasons of a year and the seasons of a person's life. A story with a lot of heart and luscious food descriptions. Do not read on an empty stomach. Okay, and now she's going to talk about the bookstore. Browsers in downtown Olympia, Washington is our indie bookstore collaboration. Browsers opened in 1928. Wow! And has always been female owned. The current owner, owner Andrea Griffith, will be celebrating her ninth anniversary as owner in November. We've included 
browser signature tote bag and one of their most popular items. Hopefully this is this does not give subscribers tote bag overload and I promise no more totes in the near future. Washington is one of the best places to grow fruit. Enjoy a box of wild blueberry tea ooh, from Cascades Botan Botanicals located in Everson, Washington. November is a wonderful time to reconnect with friends and an old-fashioned letter is a fantastic way to reach out. We've included a trio of book-themed note cards, ooh yay, with envelopes from a small business named She Said It. That's clever. The box is rounded out with an autumn book-themed sticker. Doesn't the sticker remind you of an Instagram book stack pumpkin post that are going around? I wish you a cozy November with a plenty of reading, delicious food, and time spent with loved ones. Happy reading, Karen. All right, so let's check out the rest. We have the book that I'm going to give as a gift. Let's check out the tote bag. Oh, this is really thick. Oh, my. Oh, and it's pretty big. So it's just browsers, bookshop. Okay. Oh, I remember this now. So she actually sent out a um, email to all the subscribers and asked, didn't say why. She just said, do you prefer burgundy or blue? And I just text back. I said, I prefer burgundy, but actually it's no big deal. Just send me whatever color is, is left. Um, that is why, because she evidently got blue, I remember she got blue bags and then, and burgundy. So I got a burgundy one. She didn't tell us what, it was a tote, she just said what color. Okay, and now we have, oh my gosh, the blueberry tea. Oh, look, it has a little wooden charm that could be an ornament on it. Ooh, classic flavored black, black, black tea. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open this. Because when I finish filming, I'm actually going to start reading. Oh, it's a, it's not just one. It's a whole thing of them. I'm thinking it's just for one cup. But oh my gosh, I want to smell. Oh. Ooh, ooh. I didn't realize there was a pack of them. That's awesome. Okay, and then, oh, here's the cozy sticker. I like bookish stickers. They make me happy. Well, that's nice. And we have, like she said, three note cards. Are they all the same? Yes, they're all the same. Well, that is super nice. Okay, so that is November. I give a gift. I got, I received a gift to give and stickers and note cards. So I'm happy with that. All right, now let's go back to December. Well, let's check December out. I'll read fast. Happy Holidays. The month of December takes us to the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Buckeyes and the invention of my family's favorite summertime game, Cornhole. Oh my gosh, my family loves corn, Cornhole. Any event that we have gathering, we play it. Um, the 17th State of the Union, Ohio. December's featured book is Curtis Stittenfield's Eligible. Set in Cincinnati, Eligible is a modern retelling of Jane Austen's Pride and Pre Prejudice. It's a fun twist on a classic story with a good dose of humor and memorable characters. Stittenfield is one of my favorite authors and as an, and an added theming bonus, she was born in Ohio. Well, I see why she picked that. And this month's indie bookstore collaboration is with Wheatberry Books, located in downtown, oh my, Chillicothe? Chillicothe? That might be the name of the town? Wheatberry serves their community through events and offers a selection of books for all ages. A fun holiday event that they are hosting involves people dropping off their stuffed animals for a store sleepover. I'm looking forward to the social media photos from this event. Wheatberry's wooden holiday ornament is included in this month's box. Enjoy a sweet treat with a pack of Marsha's Buckeyes, 
a nut and chocolate based candy from Perrysburg, Ohio. Marsha's Buckeyes was founded in 1984 by a home baker using her mother-in-law's recipes for the signature confection. A set of Pride and Prejudice character page flags are a nod to the theme of eligible. A bundled up wintry fox on a stack of books rounds out our December box. I wish you all a happy holiday season. Thank you for supporting independent bookstores and books inside boxes. Happy reading, Karen. Okay, so, um, I'm actually kind of like glad I didn't open this yet because this is going to be part of Mr. Mouse Diva's Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> oh, that's such a cute sticker. Look at that. The fox on bookses. Bookses. Oh my gosh. Books. And oh, so we have the bookstore bookmark. That's very masculine. And then these. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look at these book note stickers. Oh, I love these. So I forgot. <laughs> I gotta add this in. I actually forgot to unwrap the ornament. So I just read the back of the book and I can't decide if I want to read it in February or if I want to read it in July because they specifically mention 4th of July. So we'll see what my TBR looks like in February for Valentine's Day and see which of those two months I'm going to end up reading this book. So subscribe and hit the bell notification button um, so you can keep up with the books that I read. All right. Now, January. This was a big surprise to get a huge box like this. All right, so we, like I said, I love her letters. All right, we start 2024 by headed to the first state in the Union, Delaware. Delaware is the second smallest state, but is home to the mo most horseshoe crabs in the world. Delaware is also known for having more chickens than people. Okay, that is a fact that I did not know. Our indie bookstore partner for January is Hoxon Bookshelf. Um, they opened in 2002 selling both used and new titles. Okay, so I love books, independent bookstores like that because some of the best, best books I've ever, fi ever found are really, really old hardcovers. And I find them at those independent bookstores that sell both. They even offer a free buff birthday book for customers. Well, I live a little too far from Delaware to get mine. We have included their store stickers and bookmarks in this month's box. In addition, five box subscribers are entered in a drawing for a chance to win an insulated travel mug. January's featured book is Laura Lippman's thriller, Sunburn. I cheated a bit and last night I knew I was going to film this today and so I opened this box because I wanted to know why it was so big and I actually started reading this. I got to chapter 8. Now the first thing I want to show chapter 12 got my attention well something on chapter 12 is pretty neat. Um, it is there is a deli, a grocery store called Langley's. My oldest daughter's name is Langley. So to see her name in a book is actually pretty cool. Um, and then it didn't take me long and I got mad. Because this lady not only left her husband, but left her three-year-old daughter. Like she just up and left them and, and took off. Like, her, a three-year-old daughter left her. Ooh, so, so mad. Um, but, so far, I mean, as what's happening, I understand why it's a thriller. Because it's leading to, um, it doesn't start off as a thriller. But by chapter eight, you're already knowing, okay, something, something, something crazy is going to be going on. All right, um, so where are we? Um, this story is filled with secrets, deceptions, and twists that will keep you hooked. It's set in a fictional town of Belleville, Delaware, but Lippman has inspired 
Oh my gosh, really? It's inspired by true events that occurred in Maryland. What? Okay. Wow. Let's see. When was this written? This was written and published in 2016. And this author has written a lot of books. And none of them, I don't think I've read any of them. Hmm, I don't think so. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm on chapter eight. So, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, my family has been making handmade caramel popcorn at the beach for over 80 years. Wow. There's no GMO corn syrup. There's just butter, salt, popcorn, cane, brown, sugar, sugar zero trans fat, gluten-free, Ocean City, Maryland. Wow. So, oh my gosh. I can't keep hold of anything. Um, hmm. That, I think, is going to be a anniversary present for my husband. He loves popcorn. And our anniversary is in two days. And you guys know that this is what I do. I get subscription boxes and most of the stuff, other than the books, normally... I give away as gifts. Except this time I do have a book to give away since I've already read it. Alright guys, so go ahead follow Books Inside Boxes on Instagram. You know what? Has she put a clue? Let me look and see if she's put a clue for January yet. I mean February. So no, she has not put the clue to the February state yet. That's what she gives a clue about, if I wasn't clear. She gives a clue of what state the book is themed after and I've blown it every time so these are the tumblers that five people received so I was not one of those five I hope you enjoyed your holidays and that 2024 is off to a wonderful start please share any book theme resolutions on your social media pages I'd love to hear your book plans for the new year I'm going to prior to prioritize reading some books that I have been stuck on my TBR shelf for years or even decades. So I know that feeling. Now, like I said, I picked this book up last night to start reading just because I wanted to pick one to, to start um, since I was going to do this video today. But over there, I have one, two, three, four, five books sitting there that I have already started. Like, I posted on my Instagram account last night, like, do you follow me on Instagram? And this is what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but it's it's pitiful. All right. Oh, no. Okay. Well, first of all, I put um, the newest family um, vlog on my family channel, Life's a Whirlwind. We went to Silver Dollar City for the first time when we did our very first Branson, Missouri trip. And, oh, I was eating Culver's ice cream. Like, I had to put it away or I would have ate the whole container. And here it is. This is what I had put on Instagram. Currently reading these five books. And I said, it's official. I have, I have a disease. I don't know what it's called. But it's the disease in which you can't just read one book at a time. And what else did I put? Oh, we finally got some snow today. Um, it's already stopped. It literally lasted like maybe 35 minutes, but hey, I don't have kids in school anymore, so I don't mind snow. It doesn't really affect my life that much anymore since they're out of school. And I'd like to see some in North Carolina where, and I'm in the mountains. We just not, we just haven't had a really good snow in years. So comment below. Because I know a lot of people have snow right now. How much snow do you have right now? I hope you subscribe and join the Mouse Diva family. Because you never know when I'm going to put up another bookish video. And to the next page. So I didn't find this until I was taking the tissue out of the box. But um, this is that independent bookstore. And have a little bookmark with a Virginia Woolf quote. I've been all